Well, hello and welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. I am Nate, and I'm going to take you on a trip. We're going to go all the way down to Rio. Yeah, well, we're not going to go far. That's the Rio right there. Yeah. So this is a 1,425 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home. Features two closets in the master bedroom. You got large walk-in closets in your guest bath or guest bedrooms or kids bedrooms. Of course, this one is a wide open floor plan. As I said, this is a three bedroom, two bath. It's got to be for double wide. One of the most affordable homes I've ever filmed. Now I will say that this is a board and bat home though. So keep that in mind when we walk in. But the price on this is definitely, with the way the market's going, one you're going to want to look at. So real quickly, just want to point out that back door right there. Or not back door, but the uh, sliding glass door. And then we got to come on around, go back in. Now I know y'all are wondering where this home is located. This home can be found not in Rio, but in Clayton Homes in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. So if you're interested in this home, want more information on it, or any other Clayton home, Click the link down below. Right, so when we come in, this is your living room area. Really nice texture on the ceilings. Of course, recessed lighting everywhere. You got a fixture up above for your ceiling fan once you buy this home and get your ceiling fan installed. So it's a good sized living room area. I really like the size of the living room. So your entertainment wall. So overall, it's a really good sized living room. She's got your two windows right here. And we've got our dining room, the recessed lighting up above it. So this seems to be a trend I'm noticing is these recessed lights above the table instead of having the chandelier or hanging lights above your table. Sliding glass door. So now we do have, you know, the dining room here being decent size. You know, so being a 1400 square foot home, nothing in this home is going to be extremely large. Nothing's going to be extremely small. Everything about it is going to be about mid-size. The only thing I would say large in this home is the island here, as you can see. This is a fairly large island. You've got plenty of seating for four. Now your sink is in the island. You've got an outlet on this side. So Pfizer faucets, I guess, is the brand they're using in these. The Frigidaire stainless steel appliances. I don't see an outlet at that end. Really nice stack of drawers on both sides of your stove there. You got four 
good size, what I would call pot and pan drawers based on the depth. Nice stainless steel hood. Now I didn't mention before that there is quote unquote technically no pantry in this home. But we do have a somewhat of a butler's pantry built in with some shelves right there. Of course you got a window and you got your counter there. But there is room to put a small set of shelves that can go all the way up to the ceiling there so you've got some extra area to put some shelving. And then back here is your utility room. Your full size wash and dryer hookups. You've got a nice little shelf up above you there. Of course there is your furnace access and your electrical panel. So there is no room in here for a freezer though because by the time you put a freezer right there, if you put one there, now you're going to be able to get your dryer open. I guess that only leaves this end of the home with the kids' rooms. Well, I shouldn't say only because we still got a master bedroom to go to. But we're going to start with this bedroom. Now, as I said, we do have some really nice size walk-in closets in both of your guest rooms. So you got a lot of extra space. You could put like a dresser or a toy box or something like that in there too. And in bedroom number two, And then your closet comes in and turns to the left for the hanging rod or hanging rack. You got lots of storage space in here. Now we can't forget the bathroom. So you've got your pedestal style cabinet here. If that's what they call it. I mean, it doesn't go all the way to the wall. There's no room. I mean, that'd be a pretty small trash can or laundry basket in there, but hello, Raiden. Again, we got recessed lighting above. Now, this is a two piece shower tub combo. Actually, I would say it's more of a four piece because you can see. It's hard to see with the camera, but those are each one of these are individual pieces, as is the tub. The recessed lighting up above. So we need to relax and live life. Now, I didn't point out a whole lot about the uh, refrigerator right there, but you've got a nice wall of cabinets around it, giving you that extra storage space. And in our bedroom, the master bedroom, this is the room that is large than all the others, as far as proportionate to the house. And then we've got our walk-in closet number one. And as you can see, it's a good size walk-in closet. Now to get to closet number two, you do have to come into the bathroom. And in this one you get, once again, that pedestal style 
cabinet for your sinks, these square porcelain sinks, two really deep drawers. Of course, you have the cubby space down below. Individual mirrors above both your sinks. Once again, the recessed lighting. And then we got the pony wall dividing off your toilet area. Now your closet is open. There is no door here. Don't know if there's an option for it or not. But this is closet number two with your water heater access. Now as we turn around, you will see the one piece soaker tub style shower tub combo. But there's plenty of room over here that I bet you could probably option in a separate shower and then put a tub in this area right here. Based on the amount of size, at least I would think you could. I have to uh, maybe get some more information or that information will be on the web page when you click that link in the description. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed the tour. You said it's been fun. It's nice to finally find some of these homes that you guys have been asking for. that are a little more on the affordable side. We, I know we all love looking at the high dollar, high end homes, but we can't always afford those. We want to see what we can actually afford. So it's been really nice to find these. And with that, I will be back with some more price information for you. I, well, I hope you all enjoyed it. I want to say thank you for sticking around to the end. So now we got to get to the pricing information. Of course, we got to go through all the disclaimers first with the fact that the price is at time of filming in October of 2022. This price may or may not be the price that you pay because prices vary over time. So keep all that in mind. This is the price for this home in Raleigh, North Carolina. So once again, depending on where you get this home, there could be extra setup fees, extra delivery fees, extra city county regulations, things like that. So you got to keep all that in mind. With that, the current price for this home, as shown, goes for $113,000. You guys have asked for these more affordable homes. I hope you all are enjoying them. With that, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.